Hi, this is Kanna Babu. This is part 3 of Ajax. In this video, I am discussing about confirm button extender control. Actually, confirm button extender control is generally used for to display some confirmation messages. For example, if any application, if there is a need to update or delete the data, then the programmer adds a confirmation message so that if the user before the user delete the data, we can display a confirmation message that are you do you, uh, are you sure you want to delete something like that are you following so now we'll discuss about this control so initially what i will do here is um, i will try to do one small example here so initially i'll go to the toolbox and i will try to drag and drop one panel control i'll try to drag and drop one panel control and uh, uh, within this panel, I will try to drag and drop on radio button list control, radio button list control, right? And outside the panel, outside the panel, I'll go to the toolbox. I'll go to the toolbox and I will try to drag and drop uh, uh, one button control. I'll try to drag one button control and here I'll try to drag uh, one label control, one button control and one label control. Is it clear? So here, within the radio button list, I'll select select the ellipse button, edit items, click on add, and here select each item. Text here I'll give as .net, and here I will try to click on add button, and here I will try to give something like MVC, and here I will click on add button. Here I will give the text as WCF, and here I will click on add button. Here I will try to give the text as something like sql server right click on ok so these all are the list of items that i'm displaying within the radio button list control is it clear and i will select the button the text for the button i will give as delete the text for the button i'll give as delete and now what is my requirement whenever user selects the item in the uh, radio button list and click on delete it has to before it has to display the selected item in the label and apart from that, it has to delete the selected item from the radio button list. Is it clear? And before deleting the item, I want to display a message. So, in order to display that message, I will use confirm button extender control. Hope you understood. So, here, initially, I will double click on this uh, button. And here, I will try to display the selected item in label 1. So, I will write label 1 dot text is equals to radio button list one dot selected value dot two string so it will display the selected value within the label let us see here and not yet applied confirm button extender control whenever i will select the item in the radio button list and click on delete just it will display the selected item within the label control is it clear so now here i want to apply the confirm button extender is it clear so how to apply that one let us see here so i will select the first of all as you already know that whenever you are working with ajax the first control that we have to use is skipped manager so go to the toolbox here you can see ajax extensions there you can find skipped manager drag and drop now select the button control ellipse button there you can find add extender there you can find a control called confirm button extender click on ok so now go to the source code then automatically the code is generated for script manager and similarly the code is generated for confirm button extender confirm button extender we are having a property called target control id target control id is equal to control id i have given as button 1 and here i will try to display the confirm text the confirm text i want to give something like are you sure are you sure you want to delete you want to delete some confirm message i have given so when user clicks on confirm button action image it will display a uh, alert box with ok button and cancel button if you click on ok it has to delete the item from the radio button list if you click on cancel it must not delete that is the requirement is it clear so here within the button click i will write uh, one code something like i want to delete the item from the radio button list so radio button list one dot there is one property called items dot there is one property called remove 
radio button list one dot items dot remove off here i will write radio button list one dot selected value is it clear because the this remove method is accepting the input parameter of list item type is it clear so whatever the item that i have selected in radio button list that item is removed is it clear when user clicks on ok button i want to execute this code when user clicks on cancel button i don't want to execute this code for that what i will try to do means i will go to the source code and within the source code here you can find the head tag and within the head tag i will write the javascript code so here i will write something like script type is equals to text slash javascript and here i will declare one function function the name of the function i'll give as f demo or uh, okay i'll give the name as same f demo and here I will try to write some code something like in JavaScript how to get the ID you can get the value in JavaScript based on the values in two ways one is by using name other one is by using ID if you want to catch the value based on the name you can catch by using form name dot control name dot value if you want to catch the value based on ID you can catch by using document dot get element by ID so here I will try to use document object document dot document dot get element by id of here i will try to write the control id so here i will use some eval less than percentile hash is equals to delimiters i will use and what is the id of my control the label that value here i will try to select label one label one dot client id i will write here label one dot something like i will use client id is it clear and here i will close the bracket dot inner html here i will try to write inner html is equals to none it means that i don't want to uh, display the value within the label whenever user clicks on cancel button i don't want to display the value within the label i want to display the value as none that is my requirement so the name of the function is f demo so when this function will be called whenever user clicks on cancel button so within the confirm button extender there is one one more event that is called as on client cancel this event will fire whenever user clicks on cancel button on client cancel is equals to f demo on client cancel is equals to what f demo i will try to call the function is it clear now once when you debug and check the output So here a small error is there. Here I kept hash. Hash is not required. Less than percentile equals to. Is it clear? Inner HTML means the content that is available within the label one. What is the content? It will by default display the uh, selected item in the radio button list in the label. But I don't want to display that one. Instead of that, I want to display the none. And here one more small modification. At the time of calling the function, no need to mention the brackets. Just you mention the function name. Now here I will try to debug. And check the output is it clear so here whenever user selects the item in the radio button list I want to display that item within the label when I click on delete button it is asking you uh, a confirmation message is displaying within the confirm button extender is displaying one message are you sure you want to delete when you click on ok it has to delete the item from the radio button list is it working or not and the deleted item must display in the label when I select SQL Server, delete. OK. When I select WCF, delete. OK. When I select MVC, delete. Now I'll try to click on what? Cancel. When I click on Cancel button, the code that you write inside the button one underscore click will not execute. And the text, the inner HTML of this label will display as null. None. Sorry. Here you see. Are you following? If you click on OK, the record is deleted. When you click on what? Cancel. Is it clear? The record is not deleted. I hope you understood. Right? So, here the small confusion here is, you must know about this JavaScript code. The JavaScript function I have mentioned here. Right? So, what is the code I have written? Whenever user clicks on cancel button, how it is working actually? Whenever user clicks on cancel button, this event is firing. On client cancel. And this event is calling this function fdemo 
and whatever the code that you write inside that function will gets what executed so here you see here what is the code we have written document dot get element by id i want to get the element based on what id which element i want label 1 in that label 1 dot client id dot inner html means what inner html means the content that is available within the label 1 i want to set as what none i hope you understood right so in this video i explained about confirm button extender control for more videos you can subscribe to my youtube channel and facebook group in the next video i will explain about some other controls thank you have a nice day